Okay, hello everyone. Time for NATAS level 6 to level 7. We have our username NATAS7 and our URL, which I've logged into here. And this time we, we don't actually have any sort of source code or anything. We've just got these two links. Uh, so if I click on home, we get that this is the front page and about gives us that this is the about page. So what's going on here? Well, maybe we should look at the source code. And the source code doesn't give us much, you know, it just gives us the links that we were clicking on. And it gives us this hint. So that's interesting that the password for web user NATAS8 is in the Etsy NATAS underscore web pass slash NATAS8 file. Uh, so that's interesting. So we were thinking we're going to have to to read this file somehow uh, to get the password. But other than that, it's, you know, not too much is given away. Uh, now what I'd like you to see, the sort of interesting thing about this, is that we don't just have like a home, a forward slash home, you know, file here. We've got this index.php question mark page equals home. Uh, now what that means is, like in the previous exercise where we had a form and we, we submitted some data in a post request, HTTP post request, well another way that PHP can um, receive information is through uh, a GET request uh, and specifically when we pass the parameters, the name value pairs into the URL. So this question mark page equals home means that this is the name, uh, the key, and this is the value home and what's actually happening is that there's just this one page, the index.php page, it has some PHP script and it looks at this page um, key in the dollar get variable, the super global variable, like how we talked about the the dollar underscore post super global variable in the last exercise. It checks this page key and then it, it, it sort of hands out some information depending on what page uh, value we've given it. Okay, so how do we use this information to to exploit the the level? Well, um, where's this? You know, we've got to think. How is it? What's it? What's it doing? So we know it's sort of serving us some information depending on what value it gets as the page. Um, but where is it getting that information from? Is it just literally taking? some information from like a a file like that's that's easily accessible on the web server so one thing we could try uh, you sort of bear with me on this is what about if we just typed in home you see how we get this text that's because all this is doing and if we try it with about this is the about page so all this is doing is looking in the sort of the the current directory for a file called about and then it's p pushing that that data from that file onto the page and so you have to sort of get your head into this into this gear of thinking like well if it's just if it's just finding pages on the server and pushing the the information to this index.php page can we point it to that Etsy NATAS web pass NATAS 8 password file and will it just push that data to this page um, and so that's what we can do right we can just specify that particular file um, and see what happens so let's just see what happens and there you go. It just reads the file that's given to it past this equals. Now, obviously, I, 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 there's an intuition there, right? Maybe you wouldn't think to, to, to try that straight away, but, but once you've got a little bit of an un understanding of how these PHP forms are working in the background and what where the the problematic, the sort of misconfigurations might be, you can start to sort of have a picture of what's going on here. Another thing that you could have done is instead of sort of trying to reason the same way I did, you could just put some random stuff in here. And you know, this is this is a gold mine, okay, because 
there's an error message here and an error message gives us information so they should suppress this error message you know we shouldn't be able to see this and the error message is saying this include so what what we can see in this include brackets here is that there's a PHP function called include going on and, and it's literally just taking the uh, the value which we put past the equals as its as its argument now how does that help us well we can we can then go PHP include you know go to Google and you know the php.net so this is the the official documentation for PHP and have a little read and so it says files are included based on the file path given or if none is given the include path specified so straight away we know that if we pass it a, a file um, you know a file path like we did with the um, Etsy underscore you know Etsy web natas web pass natas81 that that should work so so that this is another way of sort of arriving at the same um, solution if you like okay so I hope that makes sense please if it doesn't um, you know just put a comment or something in the comments and I'll, I'll try and explain it further and also I'm going to try and put relevant links from now on to uh, I don't know if you've ever seen but there's Portswigger the people that make Burp Suite have a, a really good academy and with all sorts of labs and different ways to um, practice different exploits and I will link to the sort of relevant section um, on the Portswigger Academy in the description below so you can have a bit more practice uh, okay so that's this one done and I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one